In this Blender tutorial, I will show you how to create bends or elbows using the spin function in edit mode. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I'm going to keep this quite simple, so I'm going to just use this cube. So let's say I wanted to um, make little bends using, uh, I don't know, front view, so I'm just press one on my numbers pad to go into front view and then tab to go into edit mode make sure everything's selected by pressing A and you need to think where you're going to create your bend or elbow so let's say I don't know let's say I wanted to create an elbow from this face here incidentally you can use vertices groups of vertices or edges and groups of edges but I'm just going to concentrate on this face here so back to one on my numbers pad when you use the spin function to either sort of create a bend or an elbow or duplicates it will always work on the uh, cursor which is the middle of the XY axis so for me to create say an elbow what I'd have to do is press G X 1 and then G Z minus 1 now this will spin this face here on the cursor but what it will do is give me a very tight bend so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to press G Z minus 1 Again, and this will give me a bend um, which will be half sort of a radius of half of this say edge or face here so if you select the spin option first thing you need to be aware of is at present this will spin it on its Z axis this is why it's blue so I'm going to come up and select Y But the one thing you probably should do first, as I forgot to do, is I'm just going to hit face select and select this face back to one and then spin. Right. So if I select this now, it will spin the face I've just selected. But I know it's around the wrong way. You can check this if you place your pointer over the white line. Make sure you don't select the um, axis points. You can move this to rotate it. So I've obviously got to go around in this direction. So I want this to be 90 degrees. So I'm going to have to type in minus 90. So that's fine. I'm going to go back into select top left here so if, let's say I wanted to extrude this out so I don't know I'll press E and type in 2 and I wanted to bend this in this direction what I would do is so you go to, I don't know, go into line select, rotate your view and select the line. Well, I'm going to select this line here. And now if I hold down shift followed by S and then select cursor to selected, it will place this in this the cursor in this point here. Now if I select A and I don't know, press G, X, 1 then go into face select and again making sure you select the face before you try to rotate it I can then select spin and I'm already set up on Y so I can just hit this and this will actually have gone in the right direction but I can now create a bend I don't know, let's create a 180 degree bend and that's selected that and that's all you basically do you need to make sure you place your cursor 
away from the point you want to uh, bend or curve um, oh the other thing is because this is twice as much as this maybe you would want to put in I don't know let's put in 24 so you've got equal segments that's another thing you need to think of anyway to reiterate make sure your cursor is always in a position away from the edge that you or the face that you want to spin and then select everything and just move your object again in relationship to the cursor hopefully that made a bit of sense and hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching cheers